Hi we are Radar Render. Today let's go with us and find out, what are the best render farms for Redshift. The representatives are top 5 best render farms in 2021. We test a project with 11 frames designed on Cinema 4DR21 and Redshift 3.0, and then base on render time, cost, their strengths, and weaknesses to give the ranking. First is iRender. Multi-GPU rendering is strong point of iRender, especially for Redshift. They offer various packages ranging from 1, 2, 4, 6 RTX 3090 3080. First step is to create the image, and then boot this image to connect with the remote server after that. The whole concept here is to allow users to connect, take full and flexible control over their powerful physical server online via remote desktop connection, using 100% performance of the selected server, not share it with anyone to speed up render time. After waiting a few minutes to boot successfully, we could get access to the remote server. And here you can see the remote server is no different than the local computer. Down and uploading files to and from the server is also done quickly and easily via their two-way synth tool named PewHubSync. Or we could also use any file transfer method such as Google Drive, Dropbox, WetTransfer, etc. It's up to you. We then manually install Cinema 4D and Redshift on this remote server, the same as installing on our local computer. Fortunately, only need to install it one time, then the working environment will be saved for next usage. And as far as we know, prime customers of Irender could get free Redshift licenses. After finishing installing the software, we start the rendering. As you can see, we could control and manage the rendering process directly and flexibly, checking the GPU performance, customizing the scene files directly. Having this highly customized feature, iRender is suitable for jobs with large size and complex pipelines and tight deadlines. Here in our testing, we first have the intention to test the most powerful server which is 6RTX 3090, but this server is temporarily full, so we decided to test on server with 4RTX 3090 instead. But it's not a big deal. Users could flexibly switch between those powerful servers without reinstalling the software or re-uploading the files. Because we only need to install the software one time, so we exclude the installing software time which is 10.27 minutes. So the actual rendering time takes 11.73 minutes and costs only $2.1. This render farm ranks number one in becoming the cheapest render farm. Five times cheaper than ranch computing and four times cheaper compared to rebus farm. However, Irender holds the fourth place in rendering time. That's quite reasonable, because in this test, we use only one node, if we use two or three or more nodes, so that the render time could be down to such as two or three times or more accordingly. After the rendering finished, we get the rendered files and turn off the server. Then the system will stop charging from this time. Next is Ranch Computing. Rendering management is also on the web. The first step is to download the free online tool RanChecker and integrate it into 3D software to prepare and check the scene carefully for smooth rendering after that. This plugin will gather all assets used by your scene, verify the rendering parameters, change file paths if necessary, and warn you in case of possible issues.
Here in our test we have to rename the file in order to get to the next step. Ranch provides both CPU and GPU based rendering. The GPU type is a quite outdated GTX 1080T. However, users could leverage the huge number of render nodes to speed up the render time. After uploading the files, users will need to choose the type of software and rendering engine and then choose the rendering priority. In this test, we choose the highest priority. Then the system will validate the files, and then automatically submit them to the rendering queue. Our job started rendering in less than a minute, after submitting the project and the result does not disappoint us at all. The render time of this render farm is the shortest. Rendering on Ranch Computing only takes 3.63 minutes, which makes this render farm the fastest one, approximately 4 times faster than Garage Farm, and 3 times faster than Fox Render Farm. However, the rendering expense is such a pain, when this render farm holds the second place in terms of the most expensive render farms, just less expensive than Rebus farm. Therefore, if you are having a really tight deadline, and a high budget is not a problem, then you could consider going with Ranch Computing. Otherwise, Irender is still a better choice in both price and render speed. After finishing rendering, downloading frames from the web base, or by a secure and fast FTP account is also a strength of this render farm. The third one is Fox Render Farm. Regarding uploading downloading files, this render farm provides a quite convenient file transfer application called RACIC and can be considered a high-speed transmission solution. Here we are downloading Fox's files transferring tool. Rendering needs to follow only four steps which include uploading assets, submitting a job, analyzing scenes, and finally rendering. Here in our test, after uploading the file, it appears quickly in a minute on the web management. Then we come to the next step, submitting the file to the farm. Note that the file's names and file path aren't in special characters, or you will have to modify the files to submit them again. Hardware configuration is a quite strong point to Fox Render Farm. They have various types of GPU cards such as GTX 1080 Ti RTX 2080 Ti and the most powerful RTX 3090. Here in our test we choose the most powerful GPU card as RTX 3090 and the default configuration is 2 RTX 3090 while the number of nodes is not being shown, then we choose the right design software and render engines version.
After uploading, we do some settings then submit the file and wait for the file to be analyzed and then rendered. Based on the test result at the end of this part, we could see that the render time is 10 minutes and the cost is $4. This outcome makes Fox rank 3 out of 5 render farms today in both terms of price and render time. So, Fox could be a suitable alternative choice for Irender and Ranch computing. If your project is small, simple, and not required to adjust and customize the scenes. Fourth comes Rebusform. This render farm supports major 3D software applications and render plugins. The first step is to download the advanced Rebusform 3.0 software for C4D. This add-on allows a cloud rendering directly from your 3D application. While up and download can be managed by RebusDrop. Here we could see that the Rebus is app integrated directly into the 3D software. And we can easily send the project to the farm. However, a huge drawback of this render farm is related to the price, priority, and queue. Which means the higher the priority is, the faster your project will be rendered, and the more expensive price you have to pay. Here because we choose highest priority. So after uploading the file, it was rendered almost immediately. With powerful hardware configuration, unsurprisingly this render farm ranks number 2 out of 5 in render time, render time is 6.42 minutes. However, the rendering cost is the most expensive out of 5 cost $13.57. Being the most expensive, but not the fastest, Rebusform is not the best render farm for Redshift. But still at the top, if you need a fast render solution. Final is Garage Farm. Rendering management on this farm is web-based. The first step is to download and install Garage's software. However, it takes time to figure out how to use the Garage Farm service ranging from installing the RenderBeamer app and then learning to prepare a job on the interface of the software and integrating the app into the software too. Must add that Garage Farm has quite outdated graphics cards, including a Tesla K80 and a Tesla P100 for rendering via GPU. However, users can easily choose the priority plan to get the files rendered faster with more nodes. After downloading the RenderBeamer app and integrating it to the design software, we start uploading the file. Then we choose the priority and check some other settings and then submit the job to wait for it to be rendered. Despite choosing the high priority, we still have to queue around 7 minutes before rendering starts. However, cheap rendering costs somewhat ease our waiting. This render farm is the second cheapest out of the 5 render farms, with a cost of $3.06. However, it still takes this render farm the longest time to finish rendering. In conclusion, the render cost on Irender is the cheapest, 5 times cheaper than ranged computing, meanwhile, 
The render time on ranged computing is the shortest, three times shorter than iRender. Therefore, if you have a straightforward project and a decent budget, Ranch is suitable for you. On the other hand, iRender should be your choice when your project is larger, complicated or needs much customization or adjustment. The render time on iRender could be much faster than the test above if users could take advantage of multiple nodes simultaneously rather than using only one node, as in our test. Alright. That's the end of our testing today. Hope you enjoy it. See you in the next video.